Have you ever imagined taking a photo and making it into a virtual reality where you could walk into it and interact with the people in it and relive the memory? Well, technology is marching forward and yesterday there was an announcement that's taking us one step closer to that. Check this out. That was Deep Nostalgia, and it was introduced yesterday by MyHeritage, a genealogy website at RootsTech, the largest genealogy conference in the world. And of course, it's virtual, so this was something people saw on their computer screens and devices all over yesterday. So, what is Deep Nostalgia? And maybe we should talk a little bit more about it. Bartelt, Photo Estate Planner at Pixology. We help people evaluate the latest in photo organizing techniques, tools, software apps, and so much more. If you're interested in all of this, be sure to subscribe because we're often uploading new videos. All right, let's talk deep nostalgia. What did you think about that little demo at the beginning of this video? Were you intrigued? horrified or some other reaction, leave a comment below because I'd love to know what you thought. Now, at Pixology, we scan photos at 600 dots per inch. It's the industry standard for um, archiving family photos. And I thought long ago that someday we'll be able to take a picture and walk right into it. Kind of like on uh, Star Trek with the holodeck when the crew could pick the scene that they wanted to go to and relive a memory or relive uh, an event in history. It's fascinating. Well, this technology is getting closer and closer and deep nostalgia is that first step into creating a virtual reality from a photo. Let's explore a little bit on my Heritage website and, and learn a little bit about the company and what they offer. So we're logged in and my Heritage has already pre-filled some things for me. It made a description for my website and I could start creating a family tree and I could order a DNA kit I can even upgrade to unlock more MyHeritage features. That's all related to developing your family genealogy. I'm more curious about going to their features here. They have the ability to colorize photos. We've talked about that in the past. And here's the new Animate Photos. So that seems like a harmless way to talk about uh, making your, your photos come to life. Animate your family photos. So I'm going to upload a, a photo and you can see on the screen they have an example. Going right to one of my favorite pictures, some of you might have seen this before, and it's of my grandmother as a little girl. And now it's uploaded and they are enhancing the photo first. And then they're going to go into the animation part of it. Enhancing means just kind of correcting some of the things. This is all happening automatically. And that's artificial intelligence working. You know, we don't even realize how much this is in our lives already. So it's working, it's magic here. And there is my great grandfather moving and looking around. That's amazing. And this is my great-grandmother looking around. Unbelievable. And then the two children, they're, the features on the photo weren't that clear. So I'm thinking this is gonna not look as good as the great-grandparents did. You can see there's um, a flaw in that photo. And, and then there's my grandmother who doesn't look very happy as the little girl there. So um, I'm sure animating this is not gonna help her expression. <laughs> and there we have it. That's unbelievable. So I'm gonna upload one more photo because um, that one I think is 
is cool, but just seeing another one might be kind of interesting. This is, I have this portrait of my grandma and grandfather behind me, and I love this photo. And this is their actual wedding picture. So we're gonna upload it and let it do its work as well. Oh my goodness. I, my mom is still alive. I'm gonna have to show this to her. It is really uncanny how cool that looks. And here's my grandmother. And that was when she was in the 40s. She looks so much like my mom. Um, I, I just really, it almost takes your breath away to see these people moving around like that. So let's go back to the home screen. And I'm gonna just scroll down to the recent activity. And I'm gonna click on that farm photo because I think I would be curious to see what um, my heritage does with colorizing the picture. Again, remember, this is a computer doing this and that's artificial intelligence. It's just stunning when you think about how far um, technology has come. Oh my. Look at that. Now I don't know if they actually had, you know, those color of clothes, but I think it's pretty amazing. So I'm gonna save the photo and right on my desktop. And now I have that picture of my, my great grandparents and grandmother in color. Three things that I wonder about deep nostalgia. First of all, will this change anybody's habits in saving their family photo collection? It's unique and it's novel and it's even fun and a little scary to animate a photo this way. But I don't think it's gonna move the conversation forward with people in preserving their family photo collections from all the old printed pictures that need organizing and curating to the digital mess that we have on our computers and devices. So I'm grateful that there's a new tool out there, but I don't know that it's gonna help us with preserving our family photo archives. And, and that's okay, it's good to have something new to bring attention to the importance of saving family pictures, right? Okay, the second thing that I wonder about is calling it deep nostalgia. If you're like a lot of my clients, you might not know about all the things on the internet that are going on right now related to deep fakes. Deep fakes are when somebody takes a, a picture or a video and replaces a person's image, their face, with someone else's. So here's an example of someone who did a deep fake of Tom Cruise. I'm gonna show you some magic. It's the real thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's all the real. It's alarming to see how easy this is, and part of it's coming from artificial intelligence, deep learning, and these are things that you might want to be aware of, especially as we see technology moving forward very fast. Deep fake, all right? It's synthetic media in which a person's in an existing image or video is replaced with someone else's likeness. Some of that comes from deep learning. A computer is actually doing the work, artificial intelligence. The definition of deep learning is it's a part of a broader family of machine learning methods based on artificial neural networks with representation learning. That's artificial intelligence. Now, I'm no expert on any of this. The definitions I got from Wikipedia, so don't look at me for, um, in-depth analysis of this technology. I just know that it, it can be quite frightening and chilling to think about how easy a person's identity can be misused. My heritage also recognizes this, I guess you'd call it a little bit of a controversy. They have answers to frequently asked questions that deal with the idea of um, deep fakes. This technology does have the ability to 
um, hurt people. The third thing I wonder is what's next for technology and artificial intelligence? Clearly this is moving and marching on. I think it's just a matter of time before we're going to be able to walk into a photo or a family video and relive those memories. My son and husband play games where they put the Oculus glasses on and they're immersed in a virtual reality world. It's not long before we're going to be able to walk into our photos and family videos. Are you looking forward to this? I'm not sure what I think about it, but I know it's coming, so we should probably brace ourselves. In my world of photo estate planning, I love technology. There's many resources out there for people to use. And if you need uh, one digital home for your photos, I've got a link above to 20 different programs that you can use for managing your pictures. I hope you liked this overview, and if you did, leave a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to our channel so that you can see what's new next week in the world of saving photos and preserving your family memories. See you the next time.